The Moon, humanity's nearest neighbor in space, a world of mystery, extreme landscapes, and untapped resources. In 2026, NASA plans to return to its surface with Artemis III, a mission that could change everything we know about lunar exploration. This isn't just another space flight, it's a leap toward living on the moon, testing futuristic technology, and exploring regions of the lunar surface where no humans have ever set foot. From cutting-edge rovers to inflatable habitats, and experiments that could help humans survive on the moon, this mission is packed with technology and discoveries that sound straight out of science fiction, but are very real. So get ready, because today we're breaking down exactly what NASA plans to do, the challenges astronauts will face, and why this mission could change the way we explore space forever. And before we dive in, don't forget to subscribe to Galaski so you won't miss any future cosmic discoveries and mind-blowing space updates. Now, let's launch into the mission. Here's the lowdown. NASA's Artemis III mission, planned for 2026, is part of a bigger program to establish a sustainable human presence on the moon. The astronauts will land at the lunar south pole, an area largely unexplored this region is fascinating because it contains shadowed craters and peaks that may hold frozen water and other valuable resources. NASA's mission will investigate these areas using advanced technology to see how humans could live and work there. The spacecraft? The Orion capsule, NASA's most advanced crew vehicle yet. It will dock with the Gateway Station, a mini space station orbiting the moon that will serve as a base camp for lunar exploration. The crew has undergone extensive training, including survival simulations, geology drills, and zero gravity practice to ensure they're ready for the harsh lunar environment. And here's a historic note. Artemis III will be the first mission to land a woman and the next man on the moon, marking a huge step forward in space exploration. Now, let's talk tech. This is where Artemis III gets really sci-fi. Autonomous lunar rovers. These rovers can navigate craters and steep slopes without constant guidance from Earth. They're equipped with advanced sensors, cameras, and AI systems to avoid obstacles in real time. Their inflatable, radiation-shielded habitats will allow astronauts to live safely on the moon for extended periods. They recycle air and water to support life. Advanced landing systems use real-time terrain mapping to avoid rocks and craters, making the descent much safer. NASA is also testing robotic assistance and portable labs for on-site soil and mineral analysis. This tech could be the first step toward permanent human settlements on the moon, a real stepping stone to Mars and beyond. Imagine being able to operate a rover on the moon from Earth which experiment would you want to try first? Comment below. Here's where it gets even more exciting. The experiments planned for Artemis III. First, soil analysis. Astronauts will test the moon's soil to see if it could support plant growth and examine its composition to better understand the lunar environment. Second, resource extraction experiments. Ice in shadowed craters could be converted into drinking water, oxygen, and rocket fuel, key for long-term survival. Third, mining rare minerals. NASA will examine lunar rocks for elements like helium-3, which could one day revolutionize energy production on Earth. Beyond resources, the crew will conduct radiation studies to understand how the moon's environment affects human health. Lunar dust is another challenge. It's sharp, clingy, and can damage equipment. Testing solutions now will help astronauts on future long-term missions. Every test and sample is a piece of the puzzle, showing us what it really takes to survive on the moon and preparing for even longer journeys to Mars and beyond. 
the moon isn't easy to live on. Astronauts face extreme dangers. Temperatures ranging from minus 280 degrees Fahrenheit at night to 260 degrees Fahrenheit during the day. Radiation. Cosmic and solar radiation is far more intense than on Earth. Micrometeorites. Tiny rocks that can strike at any moment. Communication delays. Even a short delay from Earth requires careful planning. Astronauts also face mental and physical challenges. Isolation, limited resources, and zero gravity affect the body in ways scientists are still studying. NASA's habitats, suits, and rovers are designed to protect astronauts from these dangers, but it's still one of the most challenging environments humans have ever faced. Interestingly, the South Pole's terrain presents another challenge. Craters and cliffs make exploration tricky. The rovers and landing systems must perform flawlessly, and that's where NASA's cutting-edge technology comes into play. So why should you care? Because Artemis III isn't just a moon mission, it's the start of humanity's future in space. Lunar resources could support long-term human colonies. Rare minerals could transform Earth's energy and technology. Habitats and rovers pave the way for Mars missions. The moon is humanity's first stepping stone to becoming an interplanetary species, and we get to witness it firsthand. NASA is also testing systems that could make lunar tourism possible in the future. Imagine commercial trips to the moon in the next few decades. The knowledge gained here will guide not just astronauts, but the entire future of space exploration. If humans could live on the moon permanently, would you move there? Drop your answers in the comments. Let's talk resources. The moon isn't just rocks and dust. It has materials that could be game changers for Earth and space travel. Helium-3, a rare isotope in lunar soil that could be used for future fusion energy, cleaner and potentially limitless power for Earth. Water ice, not only for drinking, but also converted into oxygen and rocket fuel, supporting long-term missions. Metals and minerals, titanium, aluminum, and rare earth elements could be mined to support construction and electronics in space. NASA's experiments are small-scale for now, but they're laying the groundwork for future lunar mining operations and the first space-based industries. Have you ever wondered what life on the moon would be like? Artemis III astronauts are preparing for more than just walking. Physical training, adapting to low gravity and protecting muscles and bones. Simulations, practicing lunar EVAs, handling tools, and even emergency drills. Daily life, from preparing meals in a zero-gravity environment to sleeping in pressurized habitats, every day requires careful planning. It's not just survival, it's learning to live efficiently on a world completely different from Earth. Here's something really cool. Artemis III isn't just NASA flying solo. This mission is part of a global effort, bringing together space agencies from around the world. ESA, European Space Agency, is contributing vital modules and technology for the Gateway Space Station, which will act as a base orbiting the moon. CSA, Canada, is providing the robotic arm. Think of it like a high-tech space assistant that can move cargo, help astronauts, and handle experiments. JAXA, Japan, is helping with life support systems and logistics for the Gateway, making sure astronauts have what they need to survive and work in space. This collaboration isn't just about hardware, it's about teams from around the world working together. And while this mission focuses on exploring the moon, the lessons learned here are paving the way for even bigger adventures, like international missions to Mars, joint lunar bases, and maybe one day, commercial space opportunities. So, basically, when humans step on the moon in 2026, it's a victory for the entire planet not just one country. 
and that's what makes this journey so exciting. Now that we've explored Artemis III, let's look beyond the moon. This mission isn't just about a one-time landing, it's laying the foundation for humanity's next giant steps. Gateway as a stepping stone. The Lunar Gateway Station isn't just a pit stop, it's a platform for deep space exploration, allowing astronauts to test systems that will one day take humans to Mars and beyond. Building lunar bases. The technology tested on Artemis III, habitats, rovers, life support systems, will help create permanent outposts on the moon where humans can live and work for months or even years. Commercial and scientific opportunities. Private companies are already planning lunar mining, tourism, and research. What astronauts do in 2026 could guide the first commercially supported lunar missions. Inspiring the next generation. Every moonwalk, every sample, every experiment helps inspire young scientists, engineers, and explorers. The future of space isn't just about astronauts, it's about all of us dreaming bigger. So when you watch Artemis III in action, remember, it's not just a moon mission. It's the opening chapter of humanity's journey into the cosmos, and we're witnessing history in the making. If you could send one thing to the moon to help future explorers, what would it be? Drop your ideas in the comments below. I'd love to see your creativity. If you loved this deep dive into NASA's 2026 moon mission, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to Galaski, and hit the notification bell so you never miss cosmic discoveries and space news. Remember, the moon landing in 2026 isn't just history, it's the beginning of our journey into the stars. And here on Galaski, we'll be following every step of the way. Thanks for watching. Keep looking up.